Hi folks, it's Ron with Ideal. In this video, I will specifically show you how to find an open in a cable using the SureTrace circuit tracer from Ideal. You can also use it to locate dead circuits, determining the end of a run, and in this case, finding an open in a hot, neutral, or ground conductor. So I'll first describe how we might find a break in a single energized hot conductor on a branch circuit. Note that it assumes that there is a good connection between the neutral and ground at the electrical panel, and also all appliances should be unplugged from the outlets on the same circuit. Here's a made-up example on my bench top. Keep in mind that in commercial work, usually you are dealing with metal conduit that is grounded so you cannot find a break in the middle of a conduit run since the conduit is blocking most of the signal. And if the signal finds its way onto the metal conduit, finding a change in signal strength is essentially impossible. However, if the conduit is doing its job and protecting the wire, the open is generally happens in one of the electrical boxes. If the conductors are in a buried PVC conduit, the open can be about anywhere along the length of the PVC pipe and it can be traced more easily. In my example, I have an open condition in the hot conductor in this electrical box and a complete open in all the conductors here in a piece of PVC pipe. Step one is to identify a working outlet nearest the breaker panel and plug in a load, like an incandescent lamp. This provides a conductive path from the hot to ground via neutral so that it is not free to pick up any ghost signals. This effectively grounds all the conductors except for the open hot conductor in the circuit. This is the preferred way to find an open condition. If you do not ground all the other conductors, the signal will bleed into all the wires in the circuit and the odds of finding the open are reduced. These other two outlets are not working due to the fact that there's an open in the second box. Step two is to open the breaker to isolate the circuit. The method works just as well on a live circuit, but I recommend you isolate it for maximum safety. Step three is to plug the transmitter into a non-working outlet. If tracing an open, hot, or neutral, use just the two-pronged adapter supplied with the kit. If tracing an open ground, connect the transmitter between the neutral and ground using the connecting leads and individual terminal adapters also supplied. Switch the transmitter on and check that the battery level is actually good. Step four, turn on the receiver and place it close to the transmitter to check that it is sensing the signal. Adjust the sensitivity to get a reading around about the middle of the range. Remember the signal strength the receiver detects varies with the angle of the nose of the receiver to the wire being traced. It is recommended to hold the receiver flat with the receptacle, then rotate the receiver keeping the nose centered on the outlet. Look for the highest reading, and if a very high signal is detected, the open is further along in the circuit. All three of these boxes give a very strong reading. When I do the same to box two with the open condition, you will see the signal drops by about half the strength due to the open hot conductor. So very little signal is passing through, and box number one gives even a lower reading. So I would suspect that the open is in box number two. For a complete open in a cable buried, say, in PVC, the setup is the same except you do not need the light or any other load. Simply follow along the PVC pipe with the receiver in line with the pipe. The signal will drop off dramatically at the location of the break. By reducing the sensitivity of the receiver, you can pinpoint the location of the open condition in all the cables. The methods I have shown can be applied equally well to lighting circuits. Use the alligator clips to make the connections or use a lighting socket to two-pin adapter to connect the transmitter. Call the Ideal Customer Service Line or visit our website to find out more about the Circuit Tracer and a local distributor nearby you can buy one from. Hey, thanks for watching, folks. I'm Ron with Ideal.